One in four women and one in seven men will become a victim of domestic violence this year. 1,300 of them will die. While domestic violence is a danger year-round, incidents increase around the holidays and continue to peak right now through the early winter months. Tonight, Channel 4's Nikki Kimbleton has the story of a Daytona Beach husband and wife team trying to save lives by spreading the word about when victims need to grab a bag and go. 911, operator 901, where's the emergency? Every nine seconds in the United States, a woman is assaulted. Every minute, nearly 20 people are abused by a domestic partner. Is there someone in the room with you? Just say yes or no. As this public service announcement shows, for some, the phone is a lifeline. For others, it may be too little, too late. Husband and wife duo Charlie and Tracy Vega are experts in violence prevention and survival. What we do is completely different than what most people think of self-defense. We teach how to avoid being attacked, and then if you are attacked, we teach you how to escape versus fight. The Vegas say the contents of this bag may mean the difference between life and death. They call it the go bag. The Vegas say those in violent relationships need to plan in advance. Pack the go bag now. Start by gathering critical paperwork you'll need to start over. You want to have a copy of your IDs, passports, social security cards, your license that shows where you actually live now. You want to put that in there. The Vegas tell women to leave personal cell phones behind and pack prepaid disposable ones. They're difficult to track. You want to have cash because you don't know whether you're going to be at a hotel or maybe need to take a cab or something like that, that you're going to need money. They also say make a spare car key and an extra house key. Other Ellen sense. Styler is the CEO um, of Hubbard House, a safe haven I for abuse victims. I'm she knows all too well how important it is to plan ahead. Sometimes people are coming to us in nothing but a hospital gown. They um, don't have anything along with them. Um, we'll try to help them get the documentation they need and we'll provide everything until they have a way of providing it for themselves. People who get the opportunity to escape get a very limited opportunity and if you need to go, you need to go. <laughs> The Vegas suggests packing some of the abuser's things in the bag in case it's discovered and position the bag as an emergency bag for the family in case of a natural disaster. But Siler says it's even better if you can leave it with someone that you trust. Well, I think if you have a family emergency bag, that's fine. But that does not negate the, the need to have copies of some things off-site with someone because... If the abuser takes that bag and that's your only, um, the only things you've gathered up, you're back to square one. The Vegas say if you are planning to leave, be very careful when you're using your computer or your cell phone. They could have those so-called tracker apps installed and they can be installed without your knowledge. That again is why it's best to leave your cell phone behind if you are going to leave. So that way if it is tracked, it won't be with you. Nikki Kimbleton, Channel 4, The Local Station.